Let's look at the topic two that's about approaching uh, approaches to managing a discipline. How do we manage the discipline and what are the kind of you know approaches or probably the techniques uh, we can uh, you know adapt in uh, in an organization. So when it comes to you know, approaches to a discipline uh, there are different approaches of discipline uh, generally been adopted. Uh, one of the common kind of a method is like uh, you know you have uh, four to five kind of a methods are there. One is human relation approach. This is a very very merit and you know proper kind of approach where you try to maintain a very good relationship with the employee and employer and employees boss and the subordinate so through that you try to you know probably help and correct whichever employee deviate from the goal or a discipline aspect of it so that's the way you know uh, through the friendly way you can try to you know look at it this is the most you know what you call it as the suggested method the other kind of a method is your human resource approach. So human resource approach is actually, you know, you try to treat every human being, every human, uh, you know, what you call it, the employee as an asset for the organization. Try to treat them like an, you know, resources and act of actually, you know, indisciplines are dealt by considering the failure in the area of development and you can, you know, try to talk about the impact factor and maintenance and utilization of the human resources and more logical way try to, you know, explain the things as to, you know, because of his indiscipline, what are the kind of, you know, impact it had on the efficiency or uh, the overall organizational productivity. Uh, so that can be highlighted and uh, this is the way actually, you know, uh, you can look into it. Third kind of an approach is your group discipline approach. When we talk about group group discipline approach uh, is nothing but the entire team you try to you know probably uh, inculcate certain kind of you know uh, what you call it as accepted behavior through that you know you can able to do the uh, discipline more effectively and other thing is leadership approach uh, being a leader you act as a kind of an you know let's say role model for uh, many followers or what you call your uh, employees and uh, that's the way actually you know through that leadership also you can act as a kind of a benchmark and through that you know you can maintain the uh, good kind of an you know discipline and other kind of an approach is judicial approach the name itself implies you go ahead with a legal case through the legal case you try to you know probably inculcate a better kind of a discipline among employees now let's try to look at uh, what are the kind of you know types of uh, employee who creates a problem in the organization and uh, in general you know uh, there are four to five different types of a problem employee one is substance abusers they try to you know probably directly abuse and uh, they try to you know show an angry directly or uh, probably you know they don't uh, involve much in the kind of you know uh, what you call it as uh, business activity and the second one is angry or a withdrawn employee the name itself implies they will not do any of the work actively and they try to avoid the responsibility they try to avoid the work and they spend a lot of time on you know outside the work environment and the third one is decreased kind of productivity when it comes to decreased productivity it's all about you know the output is not really that quality oriented and ultimately it's just for the sake of it you know they will do the work and third one is your you know next one is your absenteeism frequently taking leave uh, that could be one of the reasons and the other one is terminating an employee and you know uh, terminations can lead to you know some kind of an disturbance among uh, various other kind of a group so these are the kind of you know types of problem employee and let's come to the discipline procedure how do we enforce a discipline so any organization for that matter they need to you know first uh, you know when in the form of uh, bringing out the discipline they can establish rules and the standards very very clearly defined and uh, once they establish that particular rules and standards they communicate that rules and standards when an employee joins the organization itself or time to time you know they can actually you know uh, keep creating an awareness kind of a workshop or a training through that they try to communicate and they try to you know probably assess the behavior and the performance of an employee and uh, you know they try to attempt to change uh, in uh, you know probably the appropriate kind of a behaviors if there is no kind of you know changes that happened in the behavior part of it uh, they will you know those kind of an employer call it as a problem employee and uh, generally you know this can be dealt with probably first giving a verbal warning followed by you know multiple at least two to three times verbal warning can be given the next one is you know written warning can be uh, provided and even after return warning if let's say the employee has not changed then then you know there can be a punishment in terms of let's say like uh, your increment cut or probably demotions can be done and even after done that you know if the employee is not uh, acting properly then we can go ahead with an you know uh, what you call it as a layoff 
or probably we try to you know uh, terminate that particular employee so these are the ways actually you know we can try to uh, work out a discipline uh, kind of a procedures so th these are the kind of you know way we approaches of managing the discipline uh, in the workplace